Now, on a related note, with Israeli Remembrance Day set to begin at sundown on Tuesday, the statistics of how many fallen there are has now been released. And to date, 23,741 IDF soldiers have died protecting Israel, with 96 deaths in 2018 alone. Though 56 of those deaths were of IDF soldiers and police, 40 were disabled veterans who died due to complications from their injuries sustained during service. Additionally, nine people died over the past year due to terror attacks, including ILTV's own Ari Fult, bringing the overall total of terror victims to 3,146. So, in their honor, after all of the sirens and the opening ceremonies, roughly 1.5 million people will visit the various memorial sites and burial grounds around the country to pay their respects. Elsewhere, however, there are also alternative and controversial memorial ceremonies being held. For example, in Tel Aviv, there will be a joint Israeli-Palestinian memorial event to honor the memory of both sides of the conflict. And that ceremony is making headlines this year as a group of Palestinians were initially denied entry to the ceremony due to the IDF imposing a military closure on the West Bank throughout the day. In fact, Prime Minister Netanyahu even seemed offended by the idea of such an event, saying that there's no place for a memorial ceremony comparing the blood of our people and that of terrorists. In previous years, however, certain Palestinians were allowed to attend. And so this year, the two organizations which organized the event have petitioned the High Court to overturn the Defense Ministry's position. And now about 100 Palestinians have been given permits to enter the country. For anyone who's curious about the event but can't attend in person, this year's event will be live-streamed on Tuesday evening. Evening.